Hey, hey, y'all, and welcome back. Welcome to this week's grocery haul. I know this one's starting a little bit different, but y'all, it's early and I'm not showing my face. Here is all of our groceries and extra things that we needed for this week. I'm going to go ahead and show you the meal plan real quick so that you can see how we're going to put these groceries to good use. So let's take a look at the meal plan and then we'll come back and do the grocery haul. Here's what we've got going on this week. My sister-in-law made us a chicken casserole last night and we still have some of that left over. So I think I'm going to heat that up and have leftovers. I've seen so many people making chili, talking about chili. I wanted chili, so I got this stuff for that. We've also not had homemade cheeseburgers in a while, so I got this stuff for that. We'll probably do that while we watch the national championship tomorrow night. It's Sunday right now. I got this stuff for BLTs. I was wanting that, and then I got some chicken fingers, and I thought I would use the extra lettuce and tomatoes and stuff from the BLT to make a salad and have chicken finger salads. Then I never cooked the chicken thighs last week that I was talking about. They're still in the freezer. We ended up doing pintos with our fried potatoes. Audrey wanted fried potatoes. And so we were going to do chicken with it, but ended up just doing the pinto beans. So I still have that and have plenty of veggies that I can fix with that. And of course, mama's favorite, feed yourself. That will always be on there. I'm also going to try something else a little bit different this week. I think I'm going to try to include all of the prices. That's not something I normally do, but I found myself really liking watching grocery hauls that include prices. So I think I'm going to go ahead and include them. Let me know down in the comments. Do you like to see the prices on the screen when you watch grocery hauls or do you not really care either way? Let me know so I can decide what I want to do in the future. But today I think I'm going to try to include the prices for you. I got a case of Mellow Yellows, and I also got some grape juice. Justin asked me to get that. I got two of these Powerade Zero Sugars. Jennifer at Southern Mama Drama, she was saying one of her subscribers had mentioned to her to try to drink these to help with headaches, and I am still having the pregnancy headaches, so I grabbed a couple of those just to try and see. This tomato juice is for the chili. Then I got just a half gallon of 2% milk. Y'all, I don't think I ordered two of these. There's a possibility that I did. I'm going to get back on there and check just to see because I'm curious. But there's a few things that I'm thinking I only ordered one of and I have two. And this is one of them. But yeah, I wouldn't put it past myself that I ordered two of them. Went ahead and got some more of the International Delight Sweet Cream Creamer. Y'all, let me just go ahead and tell you too. A lot of these things that probably didn't need to be on the bottom of the stack of groceries were. These bagels got a little smushed. The bananas were on the bottom and they're already bruising. The tomatoes were on the bottom. What else? The yogurts were turned upside down. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so bagels, some hamburger buns for our cheeseburgers, some sandwich bread, and then I got some bananas and some of these little halos. What are these? They're not oranges. Are they their own kind of thing? Mandarins, that's what they are. We've been eating a lot of oranges, but I decided to get these this go around. This is one of those things I only wanted one onion, but I got two. And I got a bell pepper. Got some of these baby carrots for snacking with some ranch. I don't usually get baby carrots. I usually get whole carrots and just cut them up, but this is what I was feeling this time. Some tomatoes, like I said, those ended up on the bottom of the pile. They're looking okay still, so we'll see. This lettuce. Mmm, not looking the best, but I'm going to go ahead and cut it up and get it in some of my like food saver things that you can put in the refrigerator that helps things last longer, and maybe, maybe we'll be able to save the lettuce, and some frozen cauliflower just to have as an easy side. I got some of these cubed Colby and Monterey Jack cheese. The kids like to have this for lunch sometimes with pepperonis so I got that 
and then just some sliced cheese for sandwiches. Also got Justin two of these red grapefruit. Focus. There we go. Two of these red grapefruit little snack things. He really likes grapefruit. And then this cream cheese for the bagels. I don't think I've ever tried the blueberry and lemon zest, but we're going to give it a try. This right here is another one of those things that I don't think I ordered two of. I very well may have, but some strawberry yogurt and then some m and Yo Crunch yogurt for the kids. They really like it. They really like this too. I got two things of spaghetti rings and meatballs and two of the macaroni and beef just for an easy lunch. Some of the Quaker Chewy Yogurt granola bars. We normally get the Great Value variety pack that's got like chocolate chip and chocolate peanut butter and s'mores, I think. But every once in a while, when I get that over and over and over, I can tell the kids are getting tired of it. And we change it up, and this is another favorite. And then I got some of this Magic Treasures cereal. We've made it to our first substitution, and let me tell you, I had seven substitutions today. Seven. So I'm going to go ahead and put the price on the screen for what I paid. Just know that if it's got like an asterisk or a star or something beside it, it was a substitution, and I'm just telling you what I paid. That's probably not what it would be if you got it in the store. I'd ordered the Great Value Kettle Cooked Sea Salt and Vinegar Chips, and they substituted for the Lay's. And then this other bag of chips back here is the Great Value Cheddar and Sour Cream. I just ordered the regular size, and they substituted for the party size. These are some of our favorite chicken tenders, so I got a bag of those. Some cinnamon rolls with cream cheese icing, easy breakfast, and some things for the chili. This right here was a substitution. I had ordered the Great Value Diced Tomatoes. They substituted for Hunt's. Some chili beans. Some kidney beans. And one of these chili seasoning mixes. I already mentioned the pepperonis, just some of the Great Value Original pepperonis. Some bacon for our BLTs. And then this meat right here, I think I'm just going to use half a pound in the chili and then use a pound and a half for our cheeseburgers. Oh, I about skipped over our applesauce. I got the kids just some of this original applesauce. This was another substitution. I had ordered the Great Value Strawberry Watermelon Packets and they substituted for the Fruit Punch. This right here is an easy lunch for us, just some mini pizza bagels. We've not done that in a while, so I thought we would try those. A big old bag of the Pine Pellet Cat Litter. We've used this before. The cats were not 100% thrilled with it. They used it, but here's the deal, y'all. My sense of smell is extremely heightened right now, and if I get unscented cat litter, I feel like I can smell the unpleasant smell of cat litter. And if I get scented cat litter, I feel like it smells like perfume and it's overwhelming to me. And the litter box is out in our laundry room, so I have to go out there. This stuff right here, when we used it in the past, I remember it just smelling like sawdust. And I don't think that will bother me. Plus, I just really like this. It's affordable. It's just pine pellets. That's all it is. And so I really, I really hope that they do well with this because I think it would be good for me and for them. As far as non-food items, this right here was another substitution. I just ordered the Great Value Q-tips. Hey, cutie. I had just ordered Great Value Q-tips and or cotton swabs, and I substituted the Q-tip brand. I got some more... Flintstone vitamins for the kids. They still had some, but I didn't want them to run out. So I got a backup. This was another substitution. I always get, is it the eight inch or eight and a half inch paper plates when I get them? And they substituted for the bigger ones. It's all right. I actually prefer the smaller ones, but it's okay. It's okay. Here is another substitution. 
on the app, it would only let me get one of each like scent. It wouldn't let me add more than one to my cart. So I had put one of these and one of the aloe and they substituted the aloe for a second one of these, which is fine. I needed some more all purpose cleaner. I don't usually get it with disinfecting, but right now I kind of felt like we needed it. So I got some all purpose cleaner, just the great value kind and some more toilet paper and essential. All right, y'all, I think that's everything. Do you see anything I missed? I'm pretty sure that I got it all. Thank y'all for watching this grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe got some inspiration for meals or snacks. If you're not already subscribed, hit that button. Join our family. We would love to have you. We love you guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye, y'all.